Welcome to the moving vlogs. So this has been a long time coming. I'm sorry, I haven't picked up the camera in about a month. It's just been a little crazy as I figured out what my life is. So you are watching this in October. I am currently moving out of my Toronto apartment. I'm packing everything up and putting it into storage because the announcement is for this video that Matt and I are going to be moving to Kelowna, BC. We're going to be doing it, I think, just temporarily, maybe between four and six months, um, starting in the new year of 2021. Work from home has been challenging, certainly, but it's also given us kind of this unique opportunity where companies don't really care where you're working from, at least within the country. So we figured why not move somewhere else in the country that we've always wanted to go. It's been a long time coming um, in my mind because I have hardly been out West. The first time I went out West was in January of this year, right before COVID. And I fell in love with Vancouver. I was only there for a very brief time over a weekend, but I just feel like the mountains have been calling my name for a while. I'm really interested in that way of life on the West Coast and I think it'll be really fun. So yeah, that's our big announcement. Um, so basically I'm getting rid of this apartment and I've had it for the better part of two years. I have a lovely roommate. It's very bittersweet. I am packing up and putting all kinds of stuff, basically all of my stuff that's not coming with me to Kelowna into storage. And then in January, we'll be making the road trip. Yes, we are driving and people think we're crazy, um, but we will be driving across the country to Kelowna. Yeah, this is my room it's messy i'm moving and i've been packing boxes i would nominate myself as the world's slowest packer here are all the boxes actually there's way more somewhere in Alyssa's room um but every time i pack a box or two i'm like wow this is deserving of a break and then i take a break and waste my day oh yeah here's some more boxes um oh shit you all right <laughs> This process is a little stressful and I will explain why. I mean, any move is stressful, but I'm needing to sort based on like four different criteria. So I'm gonna walk through what that looks like in just a moment. Okay. I would like to give you a little bit of a timeline, you know, leading up to right now and then moving forward, what life might look like in terms of location. So I've had this apartment since 2018. Um, it's in Toronto and I've had a roommate and right up until COVID hit, I was living here. Um, my boyfriend had his own apartment downtown and we kind of made the abrupt decision as COVID hit to go to Nova Scotia. We felt that that was going to be a safer place than downtown Toronto and we were right. So we went there for about four months into the summer. We came back early July and we have been staying kind of in many different places. So Matt's family has um, a place just outside of the GTA, which has a lot uh, of a lower rate of cases. So we've mostly been staying there at Matt's grandmother's place, I guess. And then every once in a while, I popped into my apartment in Toronto because I did keep it because I didn't know where I was going next. I've also been going to Matt's cottage. Like it's been kind of just this mishmash of living arrangements. So Finally decided to pull the switch on Kelowna, which means that I'm gonna be getting rid of this apartment. So starting November 1st, this apartment is gonna be gone. I'm gonna sublet it to a friend, like sublet my room to a friend. And so then in November, me and Matt are gonna be going to Nova Scotia to spend a bit of time there because Toronto has hit its second wave. Don't really wanna deal with that anymore. I'll be staying in Nova Scotia for Christmas. Then I fly back here, <laughs> end of December. And then in January, we leave from here in our car to drive to Kelowna. That is the timeline. Then from that point, Kelowna um, will probably be there for four to six months. And then maybe early June, July, we'll come back to, uh, to Ontario and we're gonna go from there. So. That was a very long explanation, but that's how um, it's gonna work chronologically. Based on all of that, I need to separate my belongings and my life in this apartment based on what's going into storage, okay? Also what's coming to Nova Scotia with me. 
uh, for Christmas and all of that. What's coming to Kelowna, <laughs> which could be kind of interchangeable with what's coming home with me for Christmas. And then what's being donated. <laughs> There's four different categories that I need to sort my things by, which is making it just a little more stressful. It's not just a matter of like throwing everything into a box. What do I need? What don't I need for certain parts of my life? And what things can I let go of or donate? So I'm just trying to figure that shit out. Alyssa just got back and she picked up stuff that I'm taking from the kitchen because they're mine. Ow! Oh, bitch. I'm <laughs> vlogging. Show me the oh, things. <laughs> um, yes, I will. So I had great success. I went and I got new bowls, but I didn't like them. Mm -hmm. And then I went to our little like dollar store. Found bowls I like half the price. At the dollar store? These are the expensive bowls. Okay. Which are like, they're fine, but they're not that big. And yeah, they're not very deep. I just wanted more of my bowl, you know? And these were $3. And oh. then I went to the dollar store and these are a dollar. So are you going to return the other ones? Yeah, I have oh, a okay. receipt and everything. Okay, cool. So that's my haul of the day, so. <laughs> bowls. And this. Oh! <laughs> I'm packing everything that I'm bringing to Kelowna in a giant hockey duffel bag. I can't tell if it's going well yet because I haven't tried to do up the bag. So I guess we'll see. I'm having the most trouble with our seasonal stuff. So like, also my heels, I don't know which heels to bring because these are really high, but they're my most comfortable heel and my most loved heel. Um, but I also have a new pair of strappy ones that can be dressed up or down um, and they're shorter. So I'm just like kind of agonizing over this. But for seasonal items, like obviously this doesn't go with a lot, but I wear a lot of neutrals. And this is like a blazer that I just really want to bring out this season, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if it's worth taking up the space just to bring this one item. Although I do love it for Christmas. This is all the shit I'm donating slash trying to sell online. Um, and my closet is now like basically empty. A few more boxes. I'm starting to see the floor like a little bit. Walls are empty. Yeah, let's keep going. We are filming a TikTok. It's very difficult. Um, but the talent is really doing very well. I'm very impressed with her so far. I think she's gonna make it big. We'll see. <laughs> and um, this is the concept. It's just Catherine showing off her coats. She has really, really great coats. So um, I'm sure you'll see the final because uh, it's really, really fun. So hold it, <laughs> hold it here, uh -huh. and then it'll be faced towards me so I can actually see what I'm doing. Got it, can do. Because when I see myself, I can lip sync better. Mm. Yeah. It is way later. Um, oh. I'm back north of the city at Matt's parents' place. Today, I, I didn't vlog as much as I'd like to, but I assume I'll be vlogging uh, more as the process continues. I felt like a bit of a failure today because nothing really came together until the last hour when I actually started to actually see that things were empty out of the closet, out of the drawers. And I felt as though I had an idea of where everything was and it was all packed. So didn't really see the fruits of my labor <laughs> till the end of the day. So it was a little stressful. I also like severely injured my knee at the apartment. I, I don't even know how it happened, but essentially in a back stairwell, I was coming upstairs and there's these heavy doors leading into the stairwell and I pulled on it and I opened it. I was like kind of like coming up a stair and the door is like right here. So I pulled it and I guess I didn't realize how light the, the door was. And I, I mean, it's not a light door, but it like flew open faster than I thought it would. And it hit my knee, which was like stepping up onto the landing. And it hit my knee directly from the side, like, but just at the front kind of where my kneecap is. And I keeled over, I sound like I'm being dramatic, but I've never experienced those kind of like reactions to that much pain, it was insane. And now it's just like really swollen. There's no bruising yet, but it's just like, it hurts to put too much weight on it. And if I think about the pain inside my kneecap too much, 
um, I feel a little queasy. So this weekend, um, taking a break from packing, but I'm gonna be back at the apartment next week um, to finish up. I also have to go to the locker that I'm moving to to do some paperwork. So I will bring you along for as much of it as I can. It's the next morning. Didn't sleep super well last night. My knee was really bothering me from when I hit it yesterday. So a little concerned, but I think I'm gonna wait like a few days to see how my pain is before going to see a physio because there's actually a physio in the building below um, where we're living right now. So we're actually heading to the cottage. Um, it's probably the last cottage weekend of the season. In other news, Matt spoiled his Christmas gift to me. He had it delivered using my Amazon Prime account, which was dumb because I get the notifications and the shipping notifications and delivery notifications. Plus I have an Alexa that lets me know specifically what was delivered. We were literally together and Alexa lit up and I was like, read my notifications. And it was like, your Kindle paperweight has arrived. So ruined and Matt gave it to me early because I just, I genuinely wanted to read on this and I've been kind of eyeing it for the better part of a year and a half. I, I love it. Ever since I've opened it, I've been reading nearly every night. Sometimes, you know, during lunch I'll be reading and it's something new for me because I think university reading, assigned readings, ruined my love of books. I used to read typically fiction, like mythology and fantasy. And then when I hit university and everyone was like, you have to read all this, you know, all these textbooks. I just was like, I'm done reading. I, I haven't picked up a book really since for pleasure. I've tried, um, but I just always feel like I have to take notes because my brain is now rewired in this weird way. This has been great. I am currently reading um, about Myers-Briggs personality types. And if you're a psych major, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I wasn't a psych major, but I learned a little bit about it in first year psych. And yeah, it's been sort of disproven. Like it's not an absolute test of everyone's personality. It does a very good job of explaining how you process information and then how you make decisions based on that information. So reading a book on here called The Guide to Surviving, what is it? The Survivor's Guide, The Survival Guide for Being an ENFP or something like that. And it's really good. <laughs> it's a good start for my first book. This is a photo from um, a wedding last year. This is Matt's cousin. She got married last year. And I did not get the memo that everyone was gonna be wearing blue and white. And I'm the only one who wore yellow. And now this is framed forever <laughs> at the cottage. Wednesday, bear with me for a second. I'm just leaving Nana's. Okay. Got some winter tires that we just picked up for a road trip. Uh, that will be happening in January. I'm now at my Toronto apartment, or rather outside of it. And I'm here for the next two days. My move is on Friday. Today is Wednesday, as I said earlier. Just kind of like get everything finished up so the movers can just take it away. I'm dumb.
I am going to miss this mattress because it is the comfiest thing I've ever bought and I have to put it away for months on end and it's like a cloud, but not too much a cloud, you know? A little sad. I never know how to pack hangers. I feel like soft bags are the best idea because putting them in like containers is just kind of limiting. Oh, okay, let's talk for a second. It's moving day, about 9.45. Um, movers get here at 10.30. I'm a little stressed because under my mattress is a few like things that I can't really get. Um, so the mattress has to move in order for me to be able to get under there. I'm probably gonna get that like last. It's gonna come to Kelowna. It's feeling real. I'm trying to now pare down some of this stuff for Kelowna because I know Matt's gonna freak out when he sees it. So I think I wanna bring this because it's a good like backpack for hiking and such. And then I wanna bring a fanny pack. Okay. So I have my fanny pack. Mm -hmm. But this is where I run into issues because I'm bringing like these three bags. Do I need them? No. I've never seen this one. I just got it, that's oh, why. Okay. Um, I like it as like a workout, but like bring it to, but am I gonna use it? Probably not. You're probably just gonna put everything in your black backpack. Yeah. Okay, see you later. This one is essential. You always wear, you use this one. Oh yeah, you think? Okay. Oh, yeah. This one I don't need. I just don't. No. I, it's cute, but I don't need it. It's, uh, I, I love that purse. That's all I need. That's all you need. Okay, great. Thank you. Anything else? I don't know, there's a lot else. I don't know what else to like pare down though. Well, let's talk about the crock pot. <laughs> how, many, um, how many times have you used a crock pot here? Matt is, a, he, he has this idea that he's gonna make like fancy stews when we get to- There's not a freaking chance Matt's gonna make fancy stew. I know. Well, we'll talk about it. I'll be like, that's your fault, Matt. I just want to bring an instrument. Like that's yeah. my thing. I, I guess I could bring the guitar, but the guitar is arguably just as big mm -hmm. and but like awkward. Okay, these guys know how to stack. Look at that, those are my chairs. To the ceiling. I officially own too much. If you guys are in the market for some movers who are affordable, but also do a bang up job, they're called Voyage or Voyage Movers in Toronto. Hit them up, they're great. I've referred them to a lot of people.